Jesus says, Thank you for your admission and honesty today. March 20, 2018 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, Thank you, Lord, for delivering us from our enemies. You are mighty and faithful. Please be merciful and give us more grace to carry these crosses, especially courage. Amen. I must tell you that Ezekiel was in a battle today that was beyond anything we have encountered so far. So I got a real dose of my helplessness today, seeing him suffer that way, and it brings me to tears to even think about it. So I came to the Lord in my nakedness and confusion. Lord, here I am, devastated by my weakness and impotence, taking full responsibility for it. Jesus began, how can I use you, Claire, unless you are utterly familiar with your weaknesses? Do you think I take pleasure in seeing you suffer this way? I do not. Yet it is necessary to bring you to the point where you truly know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that you are the least in my house. Moses was a man like that. This is why you have been attracted to him in the past. And there are even more reasons. Do you think I will allow you to perish in the battle? Have I not made promises to you both? Yet you allow yourself to court fear, perhaps thinking, I will abandon you. No such thing will ever happen. I am yours forever and you are mine forever. And not for a moment will I desert you. Yet I have told you that in this world you will have trouble, but keep your chin up, I have overcome the world, and I live in you. You are an overcomer. Look at the battles of the past. When did I desert you? Lord, you have never deserted me, and there have been some doozy battles. Yes, and I have told you that there will be more and they must be harder than the ones preceding them, if you are to grow. Lord, I came to the end of my end today, totally broken inside over his suffering, and I really wanted to withdraw from the intense battle, coward that I am. I really didn't think I could handle any more. But you did get through it. What is your decision now, Claire? You know that I've told you that if you chose to not keep climbing and suffering, that you would lose nothing, I have promised you. And I would still be just as deeply in love and here for you as I'm now. It is your choice, after all. Yet Ezekiel too has a part to play in this. After all, he is the presiding victim soul. Yet it does roll over onto you as well. There is much suffering in seeing a loved one suffering that way. Lord, if I keep my eyes on you, I can never ever turn you down. However, when I look at what he is going through, I want to say, no more, please, no more, at least not like that. How can I answer you now? I am truly roadkill. I know, my love, and you have tonight and tomorrow to think on these things, but let me tell you, Claire, I am eternally grateful for the sacrifice you made today for your admission of helplessness and honesty about confusion and weakness. 
I see your desire to learn more, and I will honor that. But more than anything, I treasure your abandonment to my will and confidence in me. There is no sin in confessing that you have come to the end of your ability to endure and that you don't want to suffer that way anymore. There is no sin in that. It would be regrettable because of all the fruit being born through your patient endurance. But I can always find someone so in love with me that they are willing to lose all that is dear to them. You have been this way, and yet we are going deeper and getting to the very quick of your soul here. I can't fathom saying no to you, Jesus, but I can't fathom having to see him suffer like that either, and I'm too tired to make that decision. Rest on it, dear Claire. Rest and your heart will advise you. We will talk more of this tomorrow.